me, thank you for inviting me. Um, I think you are doing great with your club. Um, and it's a privilege for me to do a demonstration for you. Okay, so Anthony asked me to do the Mitsuya style. And I'm going to kick off with the principal message of Robert Stephen. Now, this also is now my principal message. And he said that any shape or style of a tree in nature is not miraculously formed. Uh, there are always horticultural clues behind the present form. And the three aspects um, that are forming the style of a tree is the nature of the species. Uh, for example, the ba baobab tree, um, the condition where it grows, and the exterior influence. Today, the exterior influence will be wind. That is, you know, uh, the factor that is forming the style or influencing the style. And then to create a good bonsai, there are three aspects to follow. Um, artistic beauty, horticultural clues, and thematic messages. Okay, so um, trees are shaped by nature, yeah, where they grow, the conditions, and uh, this is a picture taken uh, in the Cape, um, pine trees that are being formed by, by the wind. This is a very, I think, a good quote from John Naka. Listen to the tree. It tells you where it wants to go. Okay, for instance, like this one. Um, it tells you where it wants to go. I will not form this in an upright style. Okay, there's only one way to go, and this is the windswept style. Um, tree shaped by wind. <coughs> wind blows the tree constantly in one direction. The branches as well as the trunk grow to one side. The branches grow out on all sides of the trunk, but will all eventually be bent to one side. Um, Usually trees that, yeah, these are usually trees that struggle to survive. Um, and there's some <coughs> examples from nature. You can see that this tree is almost dead. Um, so it struggles to survive. Here's another good example. See how the wind bent it to one side. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the styling of a tree into the windswept style. Um, this style is based uh, on the slanting style. And if you look at this example, it's slanted to your right. Okay, it may have grown in a harsh environment of wind-torn shorelines or rugged mountains where winds generally come from a single direction. And it may be a result of wind alone or salt spray and or sand combined with wind. Um, the angle of the trunk and lines of the uh, branches should be arranged to create a sense of direction, movement, rhythm and tension. Um, the foliage mass should be relatively sparse to assist, assist in defining branch structure. The uh, branches should be kept trimmed, not allowed to become bushy, kept away from trunk, <coughs> trunk line. Branches may cross the trunk. Now I think this is, this is the, the only style where the branches can cross each other, according to the basic rules of bonsai. Um, yeah, you can gin um, the apex yeah? um, and shari dead branches like this one. What I'm going to do here is um, I'm not going to remove some of them. These that I want to, to form green branches, you know, I will keep the needles. But like this one, 
I'm just going to cut it to, to make shards. But I'm going to shape it, you know, in so that it, uh, all the branches are in good ratio to each other. Um, potting the tree, uh, plant, you plant these style in crescent shaped or shallow pots or on slabs or rocks and they are usually the best. These forms suggest an irregular coastline um, where prevailing winds have molded the tree. The position of the tree should be um, to the rear of the center line and either left or right of the center line depending upon the direction in which the trunk leans. Okay, that's my presentation. <laughs> so I'm going to move over to the to the dim. This this side or this side. Oh, is that even cool for you? Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to to use these branches on this side. Um, this one, I'm going to bend it to this side. Okay, and this one I'm... Or, um, I can cut it shorter and make it a, a dead branch, but I think for a start I'm going to bend all of them. So I think what I'm going to do for a start is I'm going to, to wire it and bend all the branches to the left side. This side is the front. 